Welcome back everybody. Thank you for watching another video. Today we're back with the Nightcore UT27 and we're going to talk about the differences between a spotlight and a floodlight. Alright, so the UT27 is an excellent example of having both a spotlight on this side and a floodlight on this side. Now the spotlight looks a little bit weird because it's a TIR lens, just stands for Total Internal Reflection Lens. I'll talk about that in a little bit. But I don't normally like floodlights just for the reason that unless it's an extremely bright light, what you normally end up with is a really kind of mushy, blown out, very dimly lit area. And you really can't see what you're looking at until you're right over it. So that's why I don't really like floodlights. I much prefer a spotlight, even though it's a more narrow beam and you got to wave it around a little bit more. At least you can see what you're looking at. All right, let's move on to what a normal spotlight might look like. So you're going to have a lens, a reflector, might be a lemon peel one like this one, or even a smooth reflector. But it's basically there to gather light from the driver and the emitter that's sitting down there at the bottom. And they fit together like this. And it works fairly well. The issue with the reflector is that there's some light absorption when the light is coming out. So you lose a little bit of light there. And that's what the TIR lens is supposed to fix. I know you can't see it, but instead of it being separate parts, it's one solid piece of molded either silicone or plastic. And that's supposed to help out with the light absorption. Now, which one is better? I really can't tell you. I think they're about the same. But there's some purists out there that prefer the regular spotlights versus the TIR type lenses. Uh, but to me, it doesn't matter. But let's have a look at the differences between the beams between a spotlight and a floodlight. Okay, let's start off by having a look at the beam pattern on this handheld flashlight that I showed you here. So this is the non-TIR lens spotlight. You're going to notice it's really defined here. Nice hot spot in the middle, beautiful corona on the edges. So again, that's the handheld flashlight. Going to be moving over to the spotlight on the UT27. Now they went with a warmer color. To 3000 kelvins to help with the reflection off of things like rain and fog but you can notice again hot spot in the middle beautiful corona around the edges uh, but definitely not as defined as the other spotlight there okay here is the floodlight and they went with the 5700 kelvin for the flood you're gonna notice a lot softer right no hot spot in the middle just really mushy and this does not light areas very well. It fills up the area, but you can't really tell what you're looking at. So we'll go back to the spot again. And over to the flood again. And you can notice a difference. And those are the differences between a spotlight and a floodlight and a little bit about TIR lenses. Guys, if you haven't seen part one to the review, I'll leave a link for it right up here. Make sure to check that out. And stay tuned for part two of the review for the Nightcore UT27. Guys, thank you for watching. I'll catch you later.